Hello, this is the Watchdog, and welcome back to Fun with Watches. If watches weren't fun, you'd only need one. Today we have another unboxing video for you. Look at the size of that box. This is probably the biggest box I've ever unboxed. Let's start out with the wrist check. It's not Tuesday, but we're going to do Timex Tuesday anyway. And I'm wearing my Timex Expedition Chronograph. And Greg was wearing my Timex MK1 MacGyver. Grogu asked me if this very long box was the new Jedi made lightsaber he ordered. I asked him how he knows if it is really Jedi made. He said it says Jedi made on the hilt, which means that it was uh, assembled in a Jedi temple, has a Jedi made power cell, and at least 60% of the value must be Jedi made. I said, how does one measure value percentage? He says he uses a valometer. Okay, let's get this really big box open. Once again, this is probably the biggest box I've ever had on my channel. Oops, hit the camera. Me and my production values. So let's go ahead and open her up. Alright, so we got a lot of brown paper. So let's take the brown paper out. And let's take the receipt out. And then let's take a look at this watch. It says Movement Japan Strap China. All right. So let's open her up. And we have a Timex. So now you know why I was doing Timex for wrist check. All right, we have a box inside of a box. And here it is. It's a Timex Q. I've been wanting to do a Timex Q for some time, but they've been reviewed to death, and I didn't see much of a point. And then I noticed that they have this new one on the rubber strap. So I figured, well, I'll review this new one on the rubber strap because it's new. Also, I wanted to get the new Timex GMT watch, but they were completely sold out. But they still had the one on the rubber strap, but not the Pepsi on the metal bracelet. And the metal bracelet GMT was the one I really wanted. And so I put myself on a waiting list with them. And But I didn't want the rubber strap GMT. I just didn't like it as much. So I figure I can review this uh old Timex Q GMT on the rubber strap and you'll at least you'll know what the rubber strap is like on that new GMT camera in front. Oh there's a little <laughs> little starter. Alright so let's get the hang tag off. I'm gonna do this off camera because it's possible to do it but just without cutting it but i don't want to do it with the camera i'll just knock the camera around okay i have the hang tag off and the watch is ticking away and it looks like yeah it's missing the marks yep definitely missing the marks and once again this is the first time xq i've ever had on my channel once again, they've been reviewed to death, but this new rubber strap one, I just figured I'd show you what the rubber strap is like so the review would actually be useful. I've never spun a time excuse bezel before, so let's try it. And it looks like it doesn't click. It's a bi-directional bezel that does not click. So it's kind of similar to that Sterling GMT I have with the Pepsi bezel that is strictly friction no clicking but it is bi-directional which makes it a little bit more useful because this is not a gmt watch but you can use the bezel to track a second time zone here is the watch on my seven and a half inch wrist looks nice wears nice this is a nice rubber strap very comfortable I've always, I've never had the original Q with the metal strap, so I've heard that that was a real hair puller, which is one of the reasons why they released it on the rubber strap. 
plus why the new GMT has a new metal bracelet. So hopefully one of these days I'll be able to get that GMT with the new metal bracelet and uh, be able to review that. But for now, this one will have to do. All right. Well, thank you for watching my unboxing. And I will be back with uh, another review or unboxing. Be sure and like and subscribe to my channel. Bye.